In this video, I'm gonna show you how I turn this jersey into a drawstring backpack. So I am gonna be using a sewing machine, but I'm not gonna take the video over to the sewing machine as I'm working. So I'll, I'll just show you the stitches when they're done and explain to you what it is that I did. So you'll need your jersey, some cording, and of course, um, if you don't want this type of cording for your backpack, you can use whatever it is uh, that you prefer shears fabric shears and i'm gonna use grommets for the ends so that uh, i can put my uh, cording through but you don't need to do it this way you can also create loops with the extra fabric left over all right let's get this started so i'm gonna keep this backpack square or rectangular more and i'm gonna take off the actually the uh, sleeves So I see here that this is a bit sheer, but I don't think it's going to get in the way. And I'm going to use the, I'm like the, what is this again? I'm going to use the uh, <laughs> sleeves for um, pockets probably inside, just one or two pockets. Because I think uh, whoever uses this may want to put their cell phone in there. Or whatever else they're carrying. I'm going to just cut straight up. I'm going to do the same on this side. I feel like this jersey is not mm, really straight, but I'm doing my best here. That the sleeves, and I remember the name of them, <laughs> are cut off. I don't know, a little brain fart there, but that's okay. Um, the sleeves are cut off, so what I'm going to do is I know that the opening of the backpack is going to be up on top and I really love this detail here and I don't want to close it off or like sort of cut it off so what I'm going to do is use some of this fabric and just cover up the V opening and then I'm going to cut here so this is the top so if I didn't make any sense to you right now here is what I'm thinking this is the opening of my backpack so I'm going to cut this right open and we are going to sew some hems up there so that it doesn't fray although you need to check you know what this actually doesn't fray so maybe we don't have to I'll check that out in a moment and what I meant is this opening up here such a nice detail with the uh, lace and cording or whatever that is so I think I want to take some of this uh, it depends now which color I add back there but I want to take a little bit of this fabric and I want to add this back here and just close it off so that my, the opening or the top of my backpack is straight and there's no opening there, which really wouldn't have worked out anyway. Great. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to close it off with this. So I'm going to just cut this off. I am more of a cut and sew type person, which I know may <laughs> scare some people. Like, oh my God, you should be measuring, but I just cut and sew. It's what I do. And I am going to pin it back here. Sew into place and then we'll clean it up. Now I'm going to just pin this in place to sew it down. So I've decided to use a black thread throughout and you're not gonna be able to see it um, because I really don't have, I believe enough of navy thread. So I'm gonna use black very close and it will be great. And what I'm gonna do on my sewing machine is just sew down here to lock in this fabric so it doesn't move. It's sewn in place and I actually removed the lacing and on the back, since this fabric luckily does not fray, I'm just going to trim very close to the seam. Now 
Now I'm going to create the casing for my cording to be fed through. Typically I would fold over a bit, make a small hem and then fold again for the casing to keep it really clean looking. But this is really thick right here and I really don't think um, it's going to actually pull and close well because it's so thick. And uh, the sewing, my sewing machine is strong but I just want to avoid issues, so I'm just going to give it one fold, and I really believe since it doesn't uh, fray, it's going to be fine. So, time to start pressing. Here is the front of the jersey, and I'm working on the wrong side, and I'm going to fold over about an inch and a half, and I'm going to use my seam gauge to make sure I keep it that length all around. And once it's in place, I'm going to give it a press, but I have a feeling this jersey is not gonna behave. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work with my clips to help it stay in place. Yeah, as I thought. So I'm gonna keep it clipped in place. So I'm giving myself an inch and a half because I wanna have enough space for this to freely move through so that when you pull, it's nice and smooth. And I also have to consider my uh, seam allowance. So I'm gonna continue this once, once and <laughs> one and a half inch all the way down. And here we go. Yeah, that's good. Hey, I keep all my mistakes in my videos because I always teach my students that um, no one's perfect and we're all, we all make mistakes and it's normal. And that's what I do. So I'm not editing my little, you know, well, wasn't sure. <laughs> I keep it all in. Okay. Just double checking. I'm pretty good at eyeing, so not bad. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the back of the jersey, because this is the front. So here's the back, and I'll continue. So I knew this area here was going to be the funny part. So what I'm going to do, since I've never made a drawstring backpack out of a jersey, is I'm just going to give it a little bit more there. I'm not going to do any cutting yet until the casing is created. You know what? This tag, it's time to go. It may be a little tight there, but I, I don't think we're gonna have an issue. So let me keep my one and a half. I am gonna fold over more, but since it's not such a structured bag, I don't think there's gonna be an issue, um, and I won't even bother ironing here, but I don't think there's gonna be an issue where the bag looks crooked, even though I took off more there, uh, because it's, again, not a structured bag. Sorry if I wasn't in view there. Okay, that's what I thought was going to happen. My seam was going to grow or my hem was going to grow larger there. Okay, so now that this is all in place, I'm going to take this over to my machine and I'm going to sew towards the edge here with about a quarter of an inch seam allowance all down and on the opposite side as well. Completed the casing on both sides. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, with right sides together, give it a nice seam down the left and right sides. I'm actually not going to close the bottom yet because I'm creating a French seam. So left and right, so right down, wrong sides together. can't see the seam that I made because of the dark thread. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim very closely to the seam without cutting where I've sewn. So I wanna cut off as much as I can of this extra fabric there. Trimmed as close as I can. And now what I'm gonna do is turn it 
wrong side out and sew the final seam around the entire bag. So I am gonna give myself much more of a seam allowance here. And here's what I mean. I'm gonna close the bottom. So I'm gonna use my clips again. Bottom clip together. I'm going to do the same to the side. And I'm gonna push out the seam as much as I can to the outer edge. And this time uh, when I sew this, French seam, I'm going to give myself a much wider seam allowance just to make sure I catch all of the unfinished edges on the inside. And that's the whole point of the seam allowance and the French seam. So um, I think I may have taken away some of the design of the jersey front, like some of this navy blue on the front is off, but that's the way it works out, I guess. So when I sew up here, all the way up, I'm gonna make sure not to close off my casing. Definitely a lot of different uh, stiff fabrics used here between the trim and I don't know, just these doubled and tripled fabrics. It's not the easiest fabric to work with, but it'll do. So I'll close up this edge or pin up this edge and then I'm going to sew from here, back stitching on the ends, coming down around the bottom, up here, back stitching here, remembering not to close the casing. Now that I've sewn, I'm gonna turn it right side out and check out what I have created so far. So I'm going to poke out these corners on the ends. I was also trying to save this uh, patch here and not sew over it because that could be difficult. And here's what we have so far. Looking nice. So now what I'm going to do is uh, put the laces back in and I'm going to put the cording on two very long pieces of this cording and to be honest with you I didn't measure but if I have to estimate it's about two yards I figured I have so much of it um I'll just if it's too long I'll adjust it once the whole entire backpack is created so what I'm going to do is put a safety pin on one end and if you have a larger one it's even better like I could have used a larger one than this. And I'm gonna feed it through one end. So I'm gonna put it through this end and it'll come out of here. And then the opposite one, will start feeding it through this end. So you have uh, your ends on both sides. So when you pull, it cinches. So let's give this a shot. So since there's two in there, two layers, I have to make sure I get in between both. So what you're doing is you're just feeding this through. And it's so thick that it's taking me a little longer, but that's all right. When I get to this opening, I just continue feeding it through until I go back to the original opening that I started feeding it through. one through and what I did was I changed the, my strategy of feeding it through. I have my chopstick here and what I do is I tape one end of the cording tightly onto the thinner edge of the chopstick and I feed the chopstick through. It does go faster. So since I fed through this side, now we're gonna go and do this side. And seriously, look how much faster. And this is only because uh, this jersey material is not the funnest to work with. It's really thick. Okay. So you see me trying and like stopping because there's, yeah, there's two layers and you just want to make sure you get in between both. All 
All right, so that was faster. Trial or never, always a thing. All right, so chop that off. So now you're gonna meet your ends and we're gonna straighten them out. So straighten out this end and then meet these ends and pull to straighten out that end. So now you can see that when you pull, it actually tightens. So, ooh, nice strong pull. And it does tighten uh, on the back there. So, you know, I did realize I, f I forgot to create a pocket. I was gonna make a pocket in here. You know what? It'll be fine, but you could do a pocket inside as well. Time to start working with the grommets. And if you've never worked with grommets, it's really super easy. But before I do that, what I wanna do is I'm gonna sew a line, um, a diagonal line across this corner and across here to just sort of say, hey, this is where the grommet goes and nothing falls in through there from the inside of the backpack, like uh, pens, pencils, whatever, and gets in the way of the rope. So I'm just enclosing and creating two triangle areas where we're gonna add our gold grommets. Triangle areas are created, and what I'm gonna do now is work with the grommets. So if you've never worked with grommets, don't be afraid. <laughs> it is very easy. Um, you may see them on clothing like this, if you don't know what a grommet is. All right, so it's so easy. There's nothing to it. Okay, so these kits that you buy come with everything that you need. And this is the whole punch. So the first thing I'm going to do, and I'm not going to do it on this table because it's a bit shaky, is I'm going to punch a hole and you need a, a hammer. You're going to place it down and hit it with a hammer. And believe it or not, this cuts right through the fabric. They provide most usually um, a, a piece of wood so that you don't damage your floor or whatever surface you're working on. So this is what I'm going to do to both sides and I'll have a hole created. So again, I'm not gonna do this on video. My holes are punched through. I'm gonna add the grommets. And I did have a little bit of trouble here because this patch was a little thick. So wherever I saw the indentation marks, I just went in with my scissors and carefully cleaned it up. So if you have some areas here and it's jagged, it's okay because the grommet will close it all up. So um, I forgot the terminology of all these pieces. Forgive me, but it's all here. <laughs> I don't want to say the wrong uh, name for each piece, so I'll just say, take this piece. You're going to take this piece here, you're going to place it down, and I'm using the larger uh, grommets, and I'm going to take the male end of the grommet, place it down over this, and put this over. And then you're going to take the female end, place that over, and then with this right here, I believe called the anvil, but don't, do not, uh, <laughs> don't quote me on it. Again, I'm going to hit this really hard with a hammer and it will lock it all in together and your grommet is, is in place. I'm telling you, it's so easy. Um, no anxiety over this. It's like anyone can do this. So again, I'm not going to do it on a video because my table is shaky. Be right back. Grommets are in place. Literally just a few hits of the hammer and you're good to go. So nice and clean looking. So the last thing to do is to just feed this through. Actually, I'm going to feed it through the front and I'm going to leave it long and I'm not going to make the knot tight just so that the person I'm giving this to can figure out if they need to make their strap shorter. So I'm going to make it um, loose here, the knot. And then because it seems short, like it seems it'll like it'll work, but I don't know, maybe when he pulls this tight, he needs his straps a bit shorter so he can just undo this. So I won't make this tight. And same here, I'll go in through the front because by going in through the front of the grommet to the back of the shirt, you leave the knot in the back. If you care about little details like that. And just like that, I created this backpack shirt out of a jersey. Come on guys, this is pretty cool. I think so. So if you have a jersey that you have no need for or you don't know what to do with, but you don't want to get rid of it, why don't you turn it into something functional like this? And here's the back. I'll add a link if you're interested in these exact um, grommets in the description below. Thanks for watching.